Hey everybody, Andrew Cartwright here. We're almost at 70,000 subscribers. I'm giving away $700 to somebody who puts in the random comments. We're gonna randomly pick somebody. And once we hit 70,000, we're gonna hit it any day, like a couple days. So subscribe, hit like, and press the notification. Put a comment down below, and you're entered to win $700. It's that easy. So here's your daily stimulus check and seven, second stimulus check and your executive action memorandums and everything as well as your stimulus package update for Thursday, August 20th, 2020. There's a lot of 20s in today, except for an eight. Find out why the House will be back in Washington this Saturday to vote on a stimulus bill. How the Fed is asking Congress for more stimulus funds and what high-ranking White House officials said that could mean good news for another disaster relief bill this weekend. This is real, not clickbait. So watch this video. You'll enjoy it. For the best news and information on how to master and dominate your money, stay tuned to this station, this channel. Hit the notification, you know, subscribe, hit the like button. Just a little love, please just click it. It doesn't cost you anything, it's free. Likes are free. Don't forget, but we are giving away $700 to somebody who puts a comment in, right? When we hit 70,000 subscribers, so make sure you don't miss out on that. Also, grab your two free Weeble stocks down below. Just click open up an account. You get two free stocks. One could be valued up to $1,400. There's no gimmick, never a gimmick on this channel. So please go to it. No crazy, get rich, nothing here. But first, we have confirmation from the House of Representatives. We'll be back in Washington on Saturday to vote on a new stimulus bill. Yes, they're gonna go back in the middle of their vacation. Yeah, sucks for them. Fortunately, it might not include Unfortunately, I should say, it might not include the stimulus items that we are all waiting to see. Yes, got to keep it real here. Uh, yeah. Following the Democratic National Convention, the House will return to D.C. to vote on a stimulus bill that focuses on pumping much-needed funds into the, yeah, you guessed it, the U.S. Postal Service. Yes, I keep wanting to say postal, but I don't. It's estimated that the bill will come in around $25 billion and will ensure that the USPS is able to handle the millions of mail-in votes coming November's election. The Democrats think that, that uh, Democrats actually vote by mail and GOP doesn't. So they're very motivated. As a big fan of the Postal Service, I think that sounds like a great idea. I don't think anybody should miss out on a vote because they don't want to go to a voting place. I just wish that you could sigh, they could put, you know, slide, you know, just slip in, ease in, just land, just right in the fine print, a stimulus check in the deal. That would be, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve released their minutes from the July 28 and 29 meeting yesterday, outlining the need for Congress to fund the, another stimulus. Okay. The report states, and I quote, uncertainty surrounding the economic outlook remains very elevated with the path of the economy highly dependent on the course of the virus and the public sector's response to it. Other than going to Walmart and buying stuff, they just reported record highs, but everybody else is in the toilet. The central bank warned that without additional funding measures, the current items are quote, set to expire shortly against the backdrop of a still weak labor market. Yes, still not good. It's Thursday, right? Another, another report. They continued, quote, additional fis uh, fiscal aid will likely be important for supporting vulnerable families. You know, people are food insecure. A lot of people are not able to eat certain days of the week, which, can you believe that? That just sucks. No unemployment. Yeah, not good and thus the economy more broadly in a period ahead. So, yeah, um, again, we know this, you know this, I know this. Uh, why don't the House and the Senate, and why don't they know this? Uh, obviously, Trump will sign anything with money on it to get elected, right? He's like, yeah, just give me something. Hmm, pay people that needed money so they can support the economy? That sounds 
about right to me. I don't know. What, what, say in the comments, more money, no money. The report also showed that uh, important, not like or dislike, I, I mean, you know, still like the video. The report also shows the importance of a wide reaching stimulus package explaining, quote, the physical support initial, uh, initial in the CARES Act had been very important to granting some financial relief to millions of families, which it did, I would hope. $2.4 trillion? Yeah, that's a lot of dough. So we the people, the economists, and now the Fed are on board for another stimulus package. Maybe we should just run a petition around and just have Trump sign it, right? And just bypass Congress altogether. As always, it's up to Congress to get us our much needed phase four disaster relief bill so that we can get through the rest of this year in one piece. Obviously, Trump did everything he had in his power, you know, robbing wherever he could pull funds from to try and get us money but he's out of money. Finally, the White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, made some promising remarks yesterday regarding, regarding another stimulus package being passed this weekend. Yes, this weekend. So he's on board to try and figure stuff out. With the House set to return to Washington on Saturday, Meadows thinks this is a great opportunity to also provide some stimulus to the American people, not just the USPS, yes, if the Democrats want so badly for us to be able to vote, why don't we slip in a couple of like good programs like, you know, PPP, stimulus check. Hey, what the heck? Why not a little unemployment while we're at it, right? Just, uh, just do an all or nothing bill like the Democrats did with the heroes, right? Only include the, UP, the USPS. Maybe it'll checkmate them and we'll get what we need. When asked about the House vote this weekend though, Mark Meadows stated, quote, let's add in some things we can agree upon, perhaps funding for schools and the Paycheck Protection Program. Maybe the stimulus check. All right, Mark, you're, I, I think you're onto something here. He continued, if that's uh, if that in, in, indicative of what Speaker Pelosi might bring to the floor, I'm encouraged. So he's encouraged. I'm encouraged. Are you encouraged? The fact that they're coming off a of vacation and going Saturday, that's kind of a, a big thing. Uh, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin echoed, he had to chime in, of course, Meadows' enthusiasm for a stimulus talk to begin again, explaining, quote, Speaker Pelosi is coming back to look at Postal. Hopefully, should be more interested in sitting down. Maybe they can break bread and have some coffee together, you know? With the House back in D.C. this weekend and the House willing to agree on a PPP funding and another round of $1,200 stimulus checks, I hope all this momentum for it will accumulate and come together to an approval of a phase four. Yes, please, September. Yes, please. Yes, stimulus, please. Hey, we can all dream, right? We can all dream. I err on the side of being an optimist, but, uh, you know, that's just my, my DNA. What are you? You think you're an optimist or a pessimist or a realist? What are you? Put it in the comments below. Love to know. Like, what's this community? Are we a community that is hopeful and puts stuff together and dreams and envisions a bold future? Or are we one that thinks it's going to go to the toilet and USA is going to collapse and suck? So the next video, we can have the theme of our community. Like, it's all going to crash, right? That was your stimulus check and second stimulus check and stimulus action. Memo, executive order, stimulus package update for Thursday, 8 20, 2020. So, August 20th, 2020. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And uh, it's really appreciated. We've come so far together and we're going to go so far together. I have about $45 million worth of education and mistakes. I want to provide you with the help to help you in every area of your life your money, your business, and your personal life. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and also, if you could in the comments, um, what do you think of when you wake up in the morning, every morning? Please, like, give me an idea. Like, what's the first thing you think about, like, in the morning? Is it brush my teeth? Floss my hair? Just kidding. Just had to throw that in there. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. I love you.